The second element of accounting is liability. So we've got five elements to remember and three of those are going to be in the balance sheet and two are from the income statement and we've done assets now we're looking at liabilities so liabilities probably the easiest way to think about a liability is it's something the business owes like a debt however we need a more formal definition from the study design and the study design says we're going to define a liability like this it is and it's got three parts one a present obligation two to transfer an economic resource or benefit and three, as a result of a past event. So what do they mean? Well, let's take this first one, a present obligation. What does that mean? It just means the business is obligated to settle or pay the item in the future. You've got a debt, you've got to settle it. Now we're going to use cash, but there are other ways to settle debts in the business world. But yeah, we, we could just use the word pay here and go, the business is obligated, obligated to pay the item in the future. Two, what does the transfer and economic resource or benefit mean? Well, it means to settle the debt, the obligation, we're going to have to give another entity an economic resource. Now, this is most likely going to be money. There is one slight little way we can settle a liability that isn't money, and it's going to be much later in the course. But for now, why don't we just say we're going to settle or transfer money to settle all our obligations. And lastly, this is actually the same as with an asset. It's got to be the result of a past event. So the obligation occurred as a result of a transaction in the past. Let's look at the common ones we will deal with in our course. Um, bank overdraft. So we did bank. Bank's an asset or cash, whatever you want to call it. Well, what's a bank overdraft? That is when you take out more money from your bank than it actually has as a balance and you end up in a negative. And you know, you as a person, you might, let's say you've got $17 in your bank. You go to take $20 out at the ATM or go to spend $20 at a shop. It might just not let you do it. However, for businesses, they usually organize what's called an overdraw account. And that's because businesses are often allowed to get their balance in the negative because they know, the bank knows that the business will pay them back later. Um, yeah, that's called a bank overdraft. That is a liability. That is an obligation to pay the bank back. Two, accounts payable. Uh, you might also see the word creditors, but that is an amount owing to a supplier because the business bought inventory on credit and we didn't pay at the time we made the purchase. We will repay in the future. We've got loans, funds borrowed from the banks and other lenders to finance operations, which we call spend money, or maybe you use the money directly to buy an asset. But don't worry about this bit, just worry about what's a loan? That's funds you borrow from the bank or another lender. Mortgages, hang on, isn't a mortgage a loan? It is, it's just a different type of loan. So it's the exact same thing here. It's funds borrowed from a bank. It's just usually, it's just a different type of loan. A mortgage is a loan for a property or maybe to buy an entire business. Don't get worried if you're confused about the two. The question will always say, this is a loan, this is a mortgage. So don't stress about that. Just know that that is the difference. One we're not gonna deal with right now, we're gonna talk about it and come back to it later in the course, is GST payable. So an amount owed to the government, which we call the Australian Tax Office in this case, for all the GST that the business has collected. So don't stress, we'll cover that later. Uh, and lastly, we'll do this one much more later too, an expense payable. It's actually got a different name, it's called an accrued expense, but we're not gonna worry about that now. It's just an expense that has been incurred, or we use consumed or used by the business, but not yet paid for, e.g. maybe some employees have done some work for us, but we haven't paid their wages yet. Or perhaps the phone and the internet, we've got the bill from last month and we haven't paid it yet. So that's a pretty common expense too. Let's just look at these in a little bit more detail. What do they mean? Well, let's just take this first part, a present obligation. What does that mean? It just means that the item we're talking about has not been settled or paid and it must be settled in the future. And this obligation, that's like a legal thing. It's not like something that's optional. You can go, I don't want to pay the phone bill or I don't want to pay my loan back, okay? It's a legal obligation to pay it. So let's say we've got a liability incurred here today. Now, if it is uh, the obligation is due to be settled within the next 12 months, that is what's called a current liability. Anything that's obligated to be settled after that, so one year, two year, three year, 20 years, whatever, we're going to call that a non-current liability. Okay, what about this second part? To transfer an economic resource? Well, that's just money. Pretty much, there's only one other circumstance, and we'll save that for later, but money is what we are going to use to settle our liabilities. Um, so let's just take a couple of examples. Here's our business. We've got a bank overdraft. We've got to pay the bank back. Well, we're going to give them money. Simple. Here's our business. Our supplier is Nike. We're, they're an account payable because they, well, I bought a bunch of shoes from them but haven't paid them back. How do we settle that? Easy. Money. Uh, another example, yeah, a loan or a mortgage. We've got a loan with the Commonwealth Bank again. How do we settle it? Simple, with money. And if we've got a phone bill to pay, how do you settle it? 
with money. Just also, this is a picture of physical cash. We don't mean necessarily physical cash. It could be a bank transfer, BPAY, that sort of thing too. But it's the same thing. It's all set up with money. And lastly, what is this third part? What is the result of a past event? Well, it just means the liability or the obligation occurred as a result of a transaction. So, for example, um, it just means there's got to have been another entity, right? We owe another entity money because we engage in a transaction with them. And there should be a source document to verify this. So, for example, if we bought a bunch of shoes from Nike, didn't pay for them, and they said, you now owe us money, that's a liability. Well, there should be some sort of source document to prove it. So that is the actual transaction that took place, though.